So at this point, um, Mikhail, uh, he's uh, won the f two first races. We had to pick in the lucky dip. Uh, the uh, cars have been pretty unlucky. Uh, in N500, I had one of the best cars at home, but the, BO the new BOP just dropped it to maybe one of the worst, uh, losing 30 HP and gaining 200 kilograms. And then I had the Audi R8 in Group 3. But here it goes for the um, finals of the final. Adam, Mr. Susuilo, then Blazon. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I will say it like in French. Then the first first Frenchman, Pierre Lenoir. Tigny, Mr. Grady. Then Mr. Lopez. So everyone was supporting him, of course. We are <laughs> one day <laughs> after the block, uh, the rupee charge. Anthony Duval, the second Frenchman. I'm the last one here. The second to last. I'm not happy at all here. Like, huh, <laughs> whatever. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this car, so... Pfft. I have nothing to, to win here. And first mistake. Couldn't know it before. But the rolling start was pretty long for everyone. But very slow. You see, 50 kilometers. With a 8 plus 100 HP car. That means without traction control, it will spin. The more hard you go, the more spin you will have. And look at Lopez. He started on softs. <laughs> So he won't spin as no. much as you as we do, which might be maybe the key of the race for him. Yeah, we are so slow; it's crazy. <laughs> and it's the slowest start ever. Yeah, and it's a track uh, that we don't have yet. It will be in the next update. So it's maybe not finished or polished as they want to. Yeah. And here we go. Yeah, here we go. M Mangano almost spun. <laughs> Just see him go sideways. He loses so many positions. Lopez already six. Yeah. And he's fifth. And again, Slipstream was on weak for this too. Uh, just to <laughs> like clarify how Everyone is able to like stay with each other even on different yeah. times sometimes. I start in ninth and after this corner I'll go up to six. Which is a pretty good start. Like you will see like and six. I and I was starting on hard so it was not because of the tires. But again Mangano was way faster than me on hard so he did overtake me. I was like, okay I will take your slipstream as much as I can. And it's a pretty long race, it's 20 laps. Well, long, big quotes, well, quote unquote. But it's a long race in terms of uh, tire wear because it's eight, eight, eight time, so uh, the tire drops pretty fast. And it's still on a new track, so we didn't practice more than 20 minutes if we practice. At least uh, most people knew the track or had some sort of experience with it. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a famous track, so it's fine. Yeah. At least it's a real track, so people can know it. Yeah, and it was not a brand new fictional track. Everyone knew about <laughs> You see the Spanish commentators being very happy about Koke yeah. just moving up. <laughs> Everyone in the crowd was just cheering for Koke. It was crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy. And um, Cookie got the softs. And we have to take every compound again. So yeah. at some point he will have to take the mediums and the hearts. But between free practice and quality and now the tire wear has been changed and we haven't been noticed about it. We just saw it on the race. And um I will, I had the look at the big screen from my uh, from my seat. And I saw that Lopez started with soft, so I was keeping an eye on him because I was estimating four laps or even five with the softs. And you will see that he do more than those. A little tap there. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunate, I guess. Yeah. And 
Here we just go. Bit aggressive, but he got it. He got it. He was on this off the tire, so. And now he will have to go back on Mikhail, he's out. Yep. All the way from the back. <laughs> or mid pack, I guess. Just flying up here. But yeah, I'm seventh. Um, losing base against Mangano. And I got Magrady and Salazar on my tail. And I knew it would be a tough battle. And maybe fighting too much, because we won't see that on the screen, but fighting too much with them. Um, but the thing is, if they go in front and they are slower, uh, I'm losing. And if we fight, we are both losing. And I didn't know yet that my undercut would be such an amazing undercut. <laughs> it's basically the undercut of the day. I'm <laughs> yeah. It's just crazy. Uh, it changed everything. Yeah, at least for me it did. And everyone was yeah. surprised after the race, like, what? You finished there? <laughs> How? Where did you come from? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if only if only you didn't have like terrible cars in the two other races and had some mistakes and whatnot. Like. Yeah, I made a mistake on Alvas on my own, but the R8 yeah. would have been no matter what terrible. Because yeah. this car, sadly, uh, wear the tire, the rear tires way too much. So um, when people could make three or four laps on the softs, I could make only two on Dragon Trail. And right. that means I couldn't use them or having to do two pit stops within nine laps, which is just a no-go. So I went for mediums and hards and I couldn't overtake people even though I was very fast in the first sector. I was always purple in the first sector. I know how to take this chicane. But mm. sadly, the car uh, didn't follow with a tire wear 14 times. so. It was a no-go with this car, sadly. Uh, I had the pace on fresh tires. And free practice almost made the fastest lap, but uh, the free practice did end before. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> he's out in the lead and Coquet is still gaining on him, like even on the fourth lap on soft tires. Just moving up. This is where the tires would normally be close dead. to dead for the soft yeah. ones. Yeah. Really just showing how it was way different doing the race compared to And everyone agreed your on practice. That. On it. Yeah. I wonder if they accidentally put the settings to something wrong. Uh, or Yeah. Or maybe a different uh, physics engine or something. Who knows? I don't know because, uh, or maybe for the quality, it was the previous tire wear for the softs and mediums. Yeah, yeah, it was like the normal one, and then they, for this, they actually changed it over to like what we've been using the whole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something like the whole that. event. Yeah. But yeah, you you won't see me much on the screen and. <laughs> the French commentator weren't believing in my strategy or whatever. They didn't thought on that I would succeed in it or even, <laughs> but kind of supporting. But yeah, they were more supporting like um, Duval and Lenoir because they were faster, kind of. But uh, yeah. they only realized like until a bit before the end, like, okay, well, if he made like a fucking great strategy and he's the first French in this race. Actually, so wow, and yeah. the one saw that coming. Even Adam Suswilo was like, "Huh, what you've done?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're fighting with him by the end, right? Ah. I just managed to get third. Uh, well, I, I did let him pass. I had no point yeah, to fight. But, but still, it was like you were in third place, and he was coming and had to overtake you for third place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It's like. For him, it's just like, wait, didn't this guy start like way in the back? <laughs> it stayed way in the back for the whole race. It's not like Lopez who just went to yeah. second very fast. No, just I stayed yeah. in the back for almost the whole race. And Lopez, yeah. um, like, made a mistake here. 
Dead yep. Tires and the Sausage. Dead. And he was pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah, just staying on the tarmac, catching it and moving on. Yeah, there was some good moves. I don't like the, really like the car, but in the end it was pretty fun when it, in terms of battles. And everyone yeah. had the same car, at least, ex which makes it more even uh, compared to the other. So, um, I mean, it's not a car like I prefer the one make than uh, N500 or Group 3 and having, like, it's not, even if Group 3 is pretty balanced, it's balanced in terms of top speed and not in terms of tire wear. And we know the cars who yeah. doesn't make tire wear and we know the car who does. Which, uh, which and can it's balanced like for one tire compound. Yeah, it's balanced for hearts. <laughs> Not for medium. Well, once hearts. you change the yeah, once you change the compounds, the car is like completely different. And, and, and look at Snake. He just <laughs> went through for it. That's most he like. He got it though. Yeah, he like. got it. It's the best overtake of the of the race. Yeah. Like I call it. It's the best overtake of the race. <laughs> that was great. I've only seen this from the audience, I haven't actually watched the broadcast of this. So. <laughs> this is like all new to me. It's very hard to watch from the place itself compared to watching the actual stream here. Yeah, and here it goes. Looks like a rolling start again. <laughs> right. <laughs> all that plus I'm just going from side to side, trying to figure out who he's gonna <laughs> yeah. stay behind. It's so good to watch. And the liveries. Having a livery yeah. per country makes it way better. He's been a bit pushed. Yeah. But yeah, nothing. And you see that the medium begins to die. Like very fast. He can't keep up with the guys in front which are on hard. Mm. And Lopez still second with the softs, and it's about <laughs> not here, but when he will beat, I realized that, oh, well, I have to go for it. Yeah, Inter it's nearly twice as long as, like, everyone expected the ties could last, yeah. so. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, I will make it like 11, um, f 4 and f 5 and 4, something like that, or 10, mm. or f 6 and 4. Um, it was pretty much what I've expected to do, like almost half the race. And I, here goes Lopez, and it's now where I figure out, okay. Uh, so he made the bit now, he didn't lose time. I was fighting, uh, what can I do? Because it's not as I expected. So I already passed mm -hmm. the finish line, almost now. So I'm like, ah, I will, during this lap, I'll just figure out 877, which makes 20. So, yep. I do my last lap on the hearts. I'm behind Salazar. Um, we are kind of battling. I didn't saw Patrick and Adam having issues, and which is why Adam uh, didn't make the corner after because his tires was so dirty he couldn't he couldn't turn. Just look how <laughs> understeer there is like, and no corner. It's yeah. it was uh, so bad. Yeah, the ter dirty tires on like grip off the track is just crazy. Yes, I cannot even like imagine it with like these cars, like <laughs> and then like worn tires and <laughs> yeah, must have been crazy. Yeah, and I'm fighting with Salazar again, trying to be in front of him. So we lose so much time right now. Mm. As you can see, there's like a like few tenths between us. <laughs> and then it's now just like, okay, I will pit now. And go for the mediums. So I'm in front of Salazar and... Uh, will he follow me? I guess he will. Yeah, 
Salazar follows me, Duval too. We all go for mediums. They just follow what I do. Yeah. And Lopez fighting because he's on mediums. Everyone is on hearts right now, except the guys who goes on medium like me. So. Yeah, nothing very interesting so far. Like, uh, just crossing between the strategies. People staying very long on the hard because they didn't realize that the softs last longer. <laughs> Patrick having uh, big issues. Minor issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just very... It's not the kind of cars we are used to. The guys who made the War Tour are a bit more used to it. This was my first time. And uh, I've made maybe well, like one lap with it on Suzuka uh, <laughs> before we're going up. I <sighs> didn't know how to it drives and it did drive as bad as I thought. Patrick going on the mediums here. Yep. Following the same path, the two laps later. Well, one lap later, sorry. This is Twitter, too. Yeah, everyone goes for it now. Um, yeah. I still got Duval and Salazar on my tail, and I was like, uh, how can I get rid of them? Um, yeah, it was like a hard time to be here because I don't want to fight and just wanted to go through but Salazar wanted to fight and to be in front of me and here goes the yeah. traffic He's a bit uh, higher than me <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit Yeah, just a bit but uh, on a side note, it's very nice to see that the three Frenchies made it to the World Finals because <laughs> there's no like, um, if you finish last, you're out of the game. All those 10 are fighting for the European title, but all those 10 goes also to the World Final. That's done, yeah. achieved, and you can't go back on it. So all the 10 names you see now, so Lightning, Koke, uh, Giorgio, Snake, Tigni, Adam, Thomas, BTG, um, Aethel and Pivaros goes to the World Final. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who positions were here. At least from what we know. Uh, yeah, from what we know. Um, but I'm pretty sure they will be qualifying again. They can't yeah, do otherwise. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they will be, yeah. Uh, I think they learned it by now. And yeah. I'm sure the American region is also going to have a notification that uh, we're gonna do qualifying this time around. We're not Be because, gonna do um, anything by rankings. On the WhatsApp conversation, people wanted qualifying to be more fair. Yeah. Of course I didn't, because I was starting on pole. <laughs> but they listened and when made qualifying, so they're really open to the guys who are competing. Yeah. And they really want to make something that pleases to almost everyone and is entertaining enough for being bigger and bigger. Which seems to work right now. So yeah. And originally there wasn't gonna be qualifying because there wasn't really time for it. But then, because everyone wanted it, they're like, okay, so we're just just gonna take some of the practice off, and we're gonna leave the hotel earlier in the morning just so we can actually get there and get qualifying in. As we see, uh, Patrick is spinning out. Yeah, I was surprised to see him spinning out. It's not the the kind yeah. of okay. He's usually very, very consistent and just does his thing. But it's once again, it's not the car we are used to drive. So yeah. it was very, very weird to drive on a track we don't know. Well, we don't know. We, quote unquote, we don't know it, but, but not right. mastering it and not without tire wear. You have the battle for the lead with uh, Lopez on mediums and uh, Giselle on hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Goes of course, lightning. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lightning, he's like, ah, meh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, being able to go like too wide around corners like that when you are on a different compound is pretty crazy. Yeah. But I can I, I can understand like being able to keep up with the slipstream on weak, especially on these cars. Uh, but through the corner, she actually managed to keep way closer to him than I expected. And that's basically gonna be the battle we are gonna be watching until then from now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, of course the Spanish guys wanted to film the Spanish driver, so. Help. And meanwhile, at this point, I was like, okay, so. Um, when do I stop? My tire were pretty good. So 14 or 13, not 12. 12 was a bit too early. I was already thinking that when should I stop? I'm in sixth place after the um, spin of Blazon. Um, I'm not um, close enough to have the drop of Susuelo and Salazar still got my draft, but he's at one second, so it's kind of fine. I had way more pace with the mediums than with the hearts for some reasons. Not in terms of raw pace, but confident. Being confident in the car. It was way better with the mediums. Yeah. So here we go. Um, I've, I was thinking, okay, uh, I'm six. Time to make the big undercut. And I was beginning to lose pace and confidence in the in the car at this at this lap. I was like, okay, it doesn't. It, you know, the phase two, phase three. I used to say, it went to phase three on the tires. So it, it's like a step down in terms of performance. So, right. and you can see with Sarazar, he comes like so much on me, like he, I've lost like half a second already and we're about to fight here again. <laughs> and you will see on the screen because I watched this <laughs> broadcast <laughs> and you will see that we are battling as Lenoir and Susuido are battling. So it's like a <laughs> rolling start again. <laughs> and like your Lenoir and Susuido just draw moving positions. And you will mm. see, like, hey, rolling start, yeah. guys. <laughs> 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 and the French is lost one position. And I was, okay, Salazar, go. And I was thinking, okay, I'm behind Salazar, so if I pit, he won't be able to enter. Because if yeah. he follows my strategy, he will enter with me. But he was following me. He won't be able, he's in front yeah. of me. So here I dive into the pits. I'm the only <laughs> one. Who goes to the pits? Yeah. Look, I'm the only one who goes to the pits. I go for the softs, and I'm like, okay, that's a big uh, challenge now. And will I be able to master it or not? Take advantage. Yeah. Uh, Blazan overtakes, and I will be right in front of Martin. I would just exit <laughs> right in front of Martin. You see, one second point eight point six. And here goes the corner, and he got my draft, but I got soft tires. And I got free air, so I can yeah. go, go, just go. And... Yeah, I got that 7 seconds on Blazan, so I have like all the space I would need. And I know that Martin is really smart, and that he won't try anything. So I just went for it, and he was following my, uh, my speed with the, the softs. I even mm. made the fastest lap for one lap until Mikhail come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you you can see I'm I'm taking so much speed and uh, just, just goes from to Blazon like I already gained like um, half a second already. Yeah. And my first lap was just very bad, very very bad. One second already. I was at 0.7, well, I was at 7, 7 point zero. And people are... Oh, Salazar and, is, and Salazar is, is like, oh, he did pit. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I couldn't follow him and he did like, oh, trick me. Like, hey, I have to go, but yeah. it was already too late. And everyone else is staying out. Yeah. They, they were thinking, huh, they are crazy. Yeah. No one noticed... Uh, what Kake did, I guess, other than you and maybe Salazar. Yeah, and 
What's, I was glad that Grady didn't pit because he was between Salazar and I, so he could just block him uh, a bit. Yeah. In terms of strategy, it was just the best because Grady still got my draft, and Salazar got softer tires but got the draft too. But the draft just is almost equal, so there's no draft advantage. Hmm. <laughs> there we see a rare occasion of uh, the cookie being uh, sideways. Yeah, just for the fun because the rift. <laughs> And here he goes to the pits, and the white line doesn't exist. <laughs> right. As long as you're not blocking anyone, they said you you can yeah. do what you want. So and um, he, Lo Lopez has to go on the hards when Mikhail has to go on the softs, so it's game over already. Yep. And yeah, when I was watching this, I was just like, okay, once they go into the pits. Uh, Hisal is just gonna have the soft ties and it's gonna be game over for Koke. And you see Duval Lenora Mangano blazan pitting. <laughs> and poof, fourth place. Here comes Martin Grady. Yeah. And I know Suswilo has to pit and I got his draft right now, so I can be fast in with the soft tires. Yeah. I even improved my fastest lap compared to Quali by 0.6 <laughs> wow. without yeah, draft that's a lot. when I had draft during the Quali just so it's how much you like learned the track even more during the race yeah I even took some lightning's advice about changing gears and mixed, it, mixed them with mine it did work pretty well and yeah Suswilo so will have to pit um, 14 seconds behind 13.9 but Suswilo is so fast, it's crazy and I knew that he, if he pits now he will be behind but he will be uh, with on fresher tires so it will be very hard to keep him behind and I was like, ah, if he comes back behind me I will let him pass, I have no point to fight him it, just losing time and maybe losing my fourth, maybe fourth place and so Swedo pits. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw you in fourth place, I was just like, oh wow, Jumal is doing so well. I was like, come on. <laughs> if you can get a podium here, that would be and awesome. Third place. So like, and this yeah. race came hard now. Because, like, how the fuck have they ended in third place? I was only nine. <laughs> yeah. Against the top 10 of EU. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not just any sort of lobby. No, it's the best of the best. So yeah, oh, I've managed to make work very great strategy just by looking at the, what Lopez did and figuring out on the way what to do next. Yeah. And to be honest, I was hoping that they would fight together, so I could just keep my third place. <laughs> yeah. But they didn't, because this wheel was <laughs> too fast for Salazar, even for me. Yeah. Fresh as That's hard to find against. Yeah. Or maybe Salazar went behind on purpose just to go back to me mm. which would be pretty smart yeah I would probably do a similar thing I mean you know <laughs> Adam Suswilo is uh, about to overtake you it's probably better just to let him overtake and see if you can keep up with him <laughs> yeah. and as you can see the French guys are 6th and 7th yeah they follow the um, strategy we've talked about, but sadly I couldn't tell them like pit now during the race. We had no <laughs> microphone, so um, I say to them afterward like, guys, I changed my strategy on the way because they didn't want them to be mad at me. And I've seen <laughs> right. Lopez making seven laps on them. I was like, fuck this! I would do seven lap too. It's so fast. So yeah. I did that, and they were like, we should have done the same. We should have looked at what the other did, and they mm. didn't. 
which were their mistakes. Yep. And uh, uh, again, that's that's part of sim racing. Like in real life racing, you have like a team behind you, like trying to figure out what's best and strategy and pit time and tires and everything. Where in sim racing, that's all on you. And if things change. You have to notice it, you have to keep an eye on everything, you have to change your strategy if need be. And I think that's that's one of your biggest advantages in this, is you're so good at noticing the small things other people might miss out on. And like, keeping an eye on Koke and seeing how far he could actually run on the soft tires early on. Like, it's such a massive thing that can change everything. Yeah, and... Um it did change everything for me because I've gained it so did, much yeah. position. And okay, Suswilo is in my draft right now. There's two laps to go. I was like, he's in my draft. Pressure tires. Uh, that might be over. <laughs> 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 but yeah. only for th third place. And um, okay, third place <laughs> is very nice. And then the, the French is like, what the fuck they're doing? <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand. But battling each other. On this way, I was like, uh, well, even fourth place, considering how bad I was, how how down I was on the start, it's not a bad result. Of course, the podium is still a podium, but yeah, I've wa I wanted to show to everyone after two bad races what I'm made of, kind of, because yeah, that's of part of a driver to be to want to show the best. And last and second to last isn't the place I want to, even though it's like the top ten of Europe. It's not places I want. I want at least a top five, uh, yeah. at 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 most a, a podium, at miraculous <laughs> Here we go. a win. And yeah, yeah, I just like okay, go. I will just follow we, f follow we, follow you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I had better lines than him here. I just I was just on the bumper kind of, but then no traction and I. I can't, I can't mm. go out of the corner. <laughs> and here I'm like spinning out, like what, 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 what? Yeah. Take the draft. Uh, okay, I will just follow you. Uh, I was like way too far. And yeah. I just went out of the draft for breaking just in case. But I just wanted to stay in the slipstream to be safe from Salazar. And I missed so many apexes. Maybe on three corners I was like way too far. From the from the apex, because the tire were down and like you saw Lopez, he did spin on lap five, so I was on lap seven yeah. with my laps uh, with myself. So yeah, it's just like what. And Blazan got maybe one of his worst race ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hard to like s see him like that. Like he is the guy. Like he's always in the lead or in the top, never making mistakes. But this race was just not his race. And here come Hisal. He won, going for yeah. the first European title. All calm. Yeah. <laughs> now he can relax. <laughs> <laughs> Eating cookies, Lopez second. Yeah. Suspiro really third, and I was happy with my fourth place in the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could have Crazy been better. About that. But yeah, it was a uh, good results anyway. So yeah, I finished eighth in Europe because of two bad races. Um, but yeah. fourth here was fine with me. Uh, but yeah, Mikael was over the top, so congrats to him. And here we go for the world finals for <laughs> November. <laughs> me congratulating um, Adam, like explaining my strategy. Like, I was like, I saw <laughs> basically I was saying that Lopez, uh, he made seven laps and I tried to follow him. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. The for a very good event uh, in terms of everything. So uh, yep, I go to the World Finals. Sadly, Kenny won't, but yeah. it will be a hard time. Uh, yeah, 
That was good, that was good. At least uh, one of us made it on. That's that was the goal. And you did it. Yeah. Well, the debriefing might end now <laughs> <laughs> on this great picture. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That was, that was good. Just wanted to let everyone know how we felt about everything here and yeah. how we saw everything from our point of view. And just a few words about the organization. It was perfect. The hotel, the food, and so it was just... Yeah. They everything. really made something great and we are very glad to be part of it. Yeah. The first ever European FA Grand Tourismo Finals. And we were part of it. And you yes. made it on to the World Finals. Yes. Like, <sighs> like, again, had you told us a year ago that we would be here, <laughs> I would, I would say, no way am I gonna be there. No way am I gonna meet Kazunori this year. And the whole team behind Gran Turismo. And Jordan from GT Planet and like so many people we have met doing this event and it's just been so amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, I couldn't imagine a better event than this. Uh, so I guess we're gonna see with Jamas here next time if they can top this one. It's gonna be hard, but uh, it's gonna be very hard. But. Yeah, focusing on the see. world final now. See what I can do. Yeah. Uh, if I can get to the top ten, like the final, the final. If if it's uh, the same format, it'll be very hard. But I hope I can do it. And if I can get to the top ten drivers of the world, <laughs> it will be such an achievement, to be honest. But yeah. Yeah. Things to do. Practice. And. just having fun so yeah. that will be it All for me having fun uh, thanks for yeah. everyone the guys who did support us on the chat uh, the guys who did support me or Kenny specifically and <laughs> yeah yeah just well it was a long way and uh, I never thought I would have been there here as Kenny we did yeah and yeah. It's as Jordan said. I will finish on this this quote. It's history. Yeah, it is. This is a new era in Gran Turismo and in sim racing. This is where everything changes. Yep. Well, time to end for uh, end it for it now. Yep. See ya. See you.